Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. Welcome to my channel, Irish Donatera. We're getting ready to do a love reading for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, Sagittarius. In love. Oh, Sagittarius, there's your card. You're in your reading. The Wheel of Fortune. It's timed. The timing is right. Something is happening. You are on a new adventure. Sagittarius energy again. Oh my gosh. Sag, Sag, Sag. You are living large. You have big plans. There's something going on. You have an adventure. You are excited, revved up, fanning the flames. You are looking into the future and they, you see a relationship on the horizon that could become a marital uh, relationship, but it's somebody who's on the same page as you. When we look at the Hierophant energy, it is Taurus energy, but the Hierophant is also traditional thoughts, feelings, you know, the way we do things, which has an, a Sagittarius overview or Sagittarius overtone of the ninth house in the astrology wheel. So even though it's Taurus energy, we see that you are very excited about a new love mate. Uh, or someone that you will finally get to choose as a love partner. You might have been in separation for a while with the world, worldly events, but it looks like you are on the precipice. Look at this. Ace of Wands, a passionate encounter, a new beginning, being able to really express yourself. Ace of Wands energy, beautiful. In your heart space, you're feeling very revved up. We have Aries energy. You are taking action. You are being the leader of your own life and destiny. It's time to make a choice. The Two of Wands, Aries energy, Aries energy. Sag, uh, Taurus, uh, fire sign. And the decision that you will soon be making, the choice you will soon make, is to manifest this beautiful Taurus energy of the Empress. Look at that. So what is hidden here in Sagittarius's energy? What is hidden here, spirit? What is hidden here? What does Sagittarius need to know? What's the hidden energy? A new beginning. This just has new beginning written all over it, but you know this person, you know who you want. You know who they are. Beautiful Aquarius energy. Enlightened, joyful, happy, childlike, innocent, sweet. All right, optimistic. Spirit is saying, follow your intuition, Cancerian energy. A lot of major arcanas here. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four. Interesting that these are on the corners also. And then you have this. So we have, yeah, we have five. Five out of ten or nine. So what is the outcome for Sagittarius at this time? Three of coins, working in collaboration with others, studying something, learning something. Okay, what else? What else is here in this outcome for you, Sag? Five coins, dealing with... So it looks like you're making plans and it looks like it doesn't go as planned. So your outcome card is that even though you're on the precipice of it, it hasn't quite arrived. Now, readings can be timeless, but also I would encourage you to look at uh, other readings because sometimes they the timing is different. So let's look at your energy, Sag, and see how you're feeling about this, and then we will look at your partner's energy to clarify where they're at in, this, in, the, uh, in the relationship, in the situation. But you clearly have your person. And this is a very loving person who's absolutely probably very good looking, very nurturing, somebody who really shows you a lot of love and affection. Okay, so why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Sag? Ooh, devil energy. You have a big temptation on your hands. You definitely want to make a play for somebody. Okay, that's Capricorn energy, can be toxic. But we'll see. You're obsessed with somebody, I think, or attracted to them in a way that is undeniable. And that is the truth. We have the Ace of Swords. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You do not think that they will marry you. Think when you feel as though you're coming into this as a lightweight. 
when pigs fly, we, we see a little pig here with wings. And so what it says is that you don't necessarily feel as though you're well grounded, that you want what you want, but you don't know that this person, pigs don't fly. So when pigs fly means that you're going to offer your cup of love to somebody you feel very passionate about them, but you don't think that they are likely to accept. Okay, so why do we have the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands? Okay, Sag, look at this. You're taking action anyway. You have really good luck because you have Aries energy as well as Sagittarius energy. So it is a time of good luck, but you're taking action you're all about bossing up, doing what it needs to be done. Very seductive, Sag. You are seducing someone. You don't know if they'll have a long-term relationship with you, but you are happy for the seduction. You will take anything that you can get, but you are thinking big. Like, right, is it go big or go home? <laughs> Look at this. These two cards flipped over. We have... Sagittarius energy here again. At the end of the day, you feel as though if you approach this person and you show great enthusiasm, you're very sweet and kind, you're very passionate, they're coming in as soulmate energy as far as you're concerned. This could be somebody you're very close to now with whom you have never really revealed how you feel. They know it. You know they know it, but I don't think that you have really made an offer until now. Okay. You're not making this clear until the present time. Why is the Fool card here for you, Sag? Whoops, there we go. It's a reunion. This is somebody that you've known a while, Sag. Who is this person? Tell me in the comments, as always, please. Why is the High Priestess here? Spirit is saying use your intuition and your logic in your presentation. So why is the Three of Coins here for our Sages? <laughs> I feel like this could be a person that you work with or that you worked with. Definitely this person has always been really good about equal give and take. There may be an age difference, oh my goodness, because you you think your person thinks that you're a lightweight. Like when we get two pages, right? Pages are learning, they're messengers, pages are not well schooled in life. So Sag, for whom I'm speaking, you or your person appears to be younger or old, you know, there's an age difference is what I'm saying. And it looks as though you think that age difference could disqualify you. You think your person won't take you seriously even if you're the same age. That there's something about you. They may be more successful than you, Sag. You may feel as though, as though they're more accomplished. But these are your energies. These are not the energies of your person. And look at that, Ace of Wands. You feel as though they would make love with you but you don't feel as though they would necessarily have a long-term commitment with you because we can see the energy of the Page of Cups. Okay, so let's see what the reality is here in this reading for our beautiful Sagittarius friends. What is going on for Sag in love? Sagittarius in love. I feel like the whole world is opening up again and you feel that vibe, but this tells me you're not quite there yet. <laughs> All right, so you're being overly optimistic because the Wheel of Fortune has a devil on it. It's still not as open as you think. Okay, so how does your person, Sag, feel about the Wheel of Fortune? Three of Wands, they're looking forward to seeing you. It looks as though you've talked about making plans. It looks as though they know the two of you will get together. These are actually, the ships have arrived in the port. Now we're going to go down and, and, uh, and get what is already in Spirit is holding an escrow for us. So let's see why we have this Knight of Wands. It may require travel for some of you. The Three of Swords, or the Nine of Swords. Sad, your person's all up in their head. 
why are they all up in their head? Because this is player energy. So they're all up in their head about what they think is player energy. They think that's the truth of the situation. Seven of Swords. They think that you're, you, your person is not trusting you, Sag. You may feel also like they're not really telling you the truth. But the Magician card. They're keeping it to themselves. But your person feels as though... They want to see you, but they don't want to have any misadventures with you. You know, they don't want you to make a pass at them if they're not ready for it, and I don't think they are. So your readiness and their readiness is different. The Nine of Cups says that they see themselves being your very good friend, but not necessarily marriage. They don't see, right now, they're not seeing marriage as a prospect. If you notice, this person is waiting to have happiness. So they may be in a bad space. We see the party is here, but this person, this is usually your wish comes true. But in this particular instance, it looks like circumstances are sort of gathering so that the two of you don't get to see each other. Because this person sitting here with a party around them and nobody's there to celebrate with them so they feel as though you're not there with them that the celebration is something that they want though but they really like you the nine of cups is one of the happiest cards in the deck eat drink be merry have fun so they see you as an incredibly fun person they do not see you let's see what else do we need to know about the nine of cups temperance they do really like you sag and here, look at this, this is your energy. So your person, well, why are they open and yet not seeming to be? Okay. The Knight of Coins, they want it to move slowly and methodically. So even though you have fire in your belly, they are not going to allow you to charge in very quickly. There's no sweeping off of feet here. This person is very measured. They'll have fun with you, but they're not going to let it get out of hand. They are going to keep, they want this paced correctly. This person does care about you. The magician card says that there is certainly a magic between the two of you, but this person is not going to be into anything that's toxic and they think that you and your immaturity are trying to rush things in a way that they're not going to allow. Okay, so let's see what we have here for the Ace of Wands. How do they view you? They view you as an option. They view you as someone who is keeping their options open. They want you to be fair and balanced with them. And what is their emotion about this? Yeah, the Eight of Cups says that if you are not serious about a relationship, if you keep your options open, they're walking away. At least from romance. They're just not going to have romance with you. They'll be friends with you, but they won't be romantic partners with you. So your person is very much uh, very clear about what they want and how it has to come about. We're seeing that in their heart space, they feel... They want to charge in with a beautiful emotional energy here. We have the Chariot card, which is Cancerian, and the High Priestess. So they want to come in with something emotional to offer, but they're very much nervous that, and here's the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands. Your person is ignoring the Knight of Wands. Your person is looking back like, yeah, I'm not going to go there with you. Yeah, your person does not want to have like a one night stand or they don't want to be friends with benefits. So no friends with benefits here, Sag. Now, of course, what we see that they don't see is that you want to marry them and they're like, yeah, not in a million years. Sag is not up to that. But we're going to see. What do they feel about this Two of Wands? What do they feel about this real energy that you have in terms of a significant offer that you would like to make? Judgment card. Ooh, they will consider it very seriously. And what judgment will they make with our beautiful Sag? Ooh, they will make a choice. Your person is coming in. They will close out a period of time in which their options are open. They will commit to you under the right circumstances, 
but it has to be a very healthy, grounded relationship with balance, Sag. They're not going to let you run amok in their lives. And right now they still think that you're the Page of Cups. They certainly feel as though, oh, the Two of Cups, they love you. And they love you. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh Sag, of course you guys are rambunctious. That's who you are by nature. You're restless in spirit. You like moving around. Your person loves you. What's hidden here, though, is that <clears throat> this person thinks that you get bored easily and they think that you are not stable enough. Your person's very stable. They're coming in with Nine of Pentacles energy. And if they feel as though you can't really, if they, they feel as though if you get bored or that you're, if you're bored coming to them at this time, they're not, no, they're going to move away from it. So your person's very structured. It does look like there could be an age difference. They're very serious about what they want. I feel as though the two of you have had maybe a run-in with this in the past. Sag, Sag, Sag. And it might not be you. It might be them, but I don't really think so. I feel as though your person feels as though you've been rambunctious. You might have pulled back. You know, they feel, but they look, this toxic energy, they really feel with all those swords, seven of swords, all that energy over there. You know, they feel like you're just, you don't have the maturity. They don't think you're a bad person. If they thought you were a bad person, they wouldn't be such a dear friend to you. But they definitely think that you're naive and that you're childish, that you have some growing up to do. Whether that's accurate or not is another matter. I'm not making any judgments here. <laughs> you're the one to do that. All right. So we have the moon card. So your person feels actually that you don't want them, but they're going to charge in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting because I get them, ch you're charging in to make love. Do a little dance, get down tonight, make a little love, all of that. But they're charging in to say, absolutely not, I'm not putting up with anything. If you think you've got some tricks up your sleeves or you think you can bully me, I don't even know why bully. I don't know why. It's like if you come on too strong, that this person is going to see that as a warning sign. And they're going to absolutely stop being friends and stop meeting with you if they feel as though you're trying to push your way through. They would end the relationship. The outcome, your person is willing to move ahead with you. So all of these feelings that you're having are not the feelings they're having. They feel as though they would talk to you. They would entertain a beautiful offer coming from you. They really like to go do things with you. You probably like being out and about together. You have fun together. Again, I feel that the two of you have worked together. You probably will work together in the future. But your person definitely feels as though they're not the only one, that you're always, you know, we tell our friends a lot about ourselves. And I feel as though you probably told this friend about some of your adventures some of your romantic adventures. And what has happened here is that somehow the two of you have fallen in love at some level and that, you know, now they sort of go, ooh, I know how Sag behaves in love. So I have to be careful because Sag isn't very adult. And though the two of you have fallen in love, your person's going to protect themselves. So what I see is two people who are getting to know each other, boundaries are being set, rules are being negotiated, and look at look at what we have. Your person, I didn't even think of this, your person wants this with you, but they won't carry any burdens. They're very intellectual. We have the Queen of Wands the third time. This person is not going to allow you to be a player. They're not going to be a player. They're coming in very, you know, they have a lot of passion in their belly for you, but they're coming in as Queen of Pentacles energy that is very grounded. That's Capricorn energy. They are not in the mood for any toxicity or any devil energy. Come in with good Capricorn energy, being grounded enough. That will be a requirement for the relationship. Let's look and see what the information is that we have from where this journey is at and where it will go. So let's look at past, present, future for Sagittarius. Past, present, future. Let's see. The garden and the gate. Okay, so the garden's right there, but there is a gate. You haven't entered that garden yet. Both of you are waiting to see what's going to happen. Oh, a victory! A victory in action. 
It does show indecision though. So it's not quite happening yet. There will be a victory in that you will get together. You will spend time together. You will chase. You'll run. You'll have fun. I don't see this necessarily as sexual energy. I actually think the indecision is that although your person has very strong boundaries, Sag, they will be tempted by you. I do feel as though um, their, their feeling is like, wow, I really want to be with Sag. The angel of love is protecting you. The angel of strength is here with you. So whatever decision is made, Sag, be your best self. Bring that best self to the table. Be the self that believes in traditional values. Be that self. If you want to marry this person, if you want to share that kind of life with them, then you need to make that really clear. So let's see what whispers of love have in store for you. What are the messages of love? for Sagittarius in this relationship. Here we go. Be supportive. Make genuine effort to show that you care. All right. Can't be all about the heat. It has to be about the love, my friends. All right, Sag, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Enter the contest. Like, subscribe, share, have a party with me, and I'm going to be doing a live soon. Bye-bye.